So this video will help you with the stuffing, sewing up and wiring of the Maranta Fascinator. So this is known as the prayer plant. And so what I've actually done with this plant design is wire all of the leaves up so that you can move that plant when it sits within your home. Now, um, goes without saying that if you are making this for a child or to be played with in any way, then you can't include the wire. The wire is just to um, position it and fix it so that if it goes on display in your home on a shelf, um, you can actually manipulate those leaves to make it look really attractive. Um, you can even move them to open and close the plant up at night if you wish. So to wire the plant, you're going to need um, sharp scissors. Um, well, not necessarily sharp scissors, strong scissors, because you are going to cut through the modelling wire. And you will need two metres of modelling wire in order to wire this plant. And that's because what we're going to do is actually cut the wire into four even lengths. So all you need to do to begin with is fold your wire in half, straighten it out, and then fold it in half again. So you've folded it into four and then cut through those ends and on the other end. And what I will say is it's very hard to get a curved piece of wire through. So it's actually easier if you cut the straight line ends like that. Don't cut too much off because you do want a bit of length on there, but cut the ends off straight like that. And that will make it much easier to then get them in through your crochet. So first, what we want to do is abandon one of them. So put one of them down. That will go through the two arms effectively, so through the top of the body. But first, we want to insert the ones into the top of the head. So with the three that you've got here, what you need to do is take one of them and wrap it around the others like that. And then just do the same thing a couple of times. So you've got twists in them like that. And you've created a big spike with the wires attached together. And what we're going to do is we're going to put one down in through the body, so that will help support the head. So we're gonna put one down in through the body, and then we're going to put the other five up through the top of the head, and we'll actually sew the leaves onto them afterwards. So just to clarify, you do this after you've crocheted the whole thing. Um, you don't need to do this before. You need to have all your leaves ready to go at the point at which you do this. So what you've got is a bit of a tangled knot like that and one wire going downwards. We're going to take our five strands and we're going to put them up through the neckline. And the easiest way to do that is a little bit like um, how you put socks on a baby. Um, fold up the bottom like that so that you've got your bottom hole going straight through to your neckline and then put them in through that like that and out the top of the head. Now, they don't have to be perfectly through the centre at all. They just need to be reasonably close together in a bunch, close to that central circle. Don't worry about them being perfectly through or around the central circle. Push the five strands out like that and through. Now, I've pulled my tail end out there. I can sew that in afterwards. And then one will come downwards. And that's just going to strengthen your um, neckline as it comes through. So pull them through till you've got your um, tangled kind of knot of ends close to the top on the inside. And then you can put your stuffing in. So you're just going to stuff in and around the wire like that. Up through the neck tease it from the other side if you need to to get it past that wire so just turn your hook around and tease that stuffing in through the neckline So once you've got that stuffing in, your centralizer point um, marks the center of your tummy. So that's the middle of your plant's body. What you can do is you can either choose to snip off this bottom piece of wire or you can just fold it, curl it back up and fold it inside like that. So there's no need to snip it and remove it. You can curl it up like that and tuck it inside. And actually, you could even put a little bit of stuffing into the bottom after you've done that and that'll be nicely tucked away on the inside. So then I'm going to gather the bottom of my body and I'm actually going to sew my legs on before I then move to doing any arms or um, the leaves on the top of the head. So 
So with the legs, I just put a little bit of stuffing into the bottom. So with the legs, sew them flat across the top. And then using that centralizer point that you've got in your body, draw a straight line down from that to the center of this circle and then divide the bottom of the body into thirds. So if you imagine the straight line coming there from the centralizer, you're going to sew the legs onto a line that creates the thirds on the bottom of the body. So with the legs attached, next it comes to placing our arms. So take the fourth wire, the fourth length of wire that you left earlier. And what you're going to do is use your centralizer point as a guide again. So really look at that in the center of your body and then push this piece of wire in through the shoulders effectively. So about two rounds down from the skinniest point on the neck, push that piece of wire in like that through both sides. And then comes time to insert our first leaves onto the body. So you can position your leaves in whatever way you wish to. What I'm going to do here is actually take one long, large stemmed leaf and one medium stem, large leaf, and then a small, short one to sit on top of that. So I'm going to do asymmetric arms effectively on this, taking one long stemmed, large one on one side. And what you do is you feed that, that wire, the end of that wire, in down the stem of the leaf like that. And then you can just cur either curve the wire around the inside or you can snip it off. Now, curving it round, you'll have to fiddle a little bit more like that because you can't curve it until it's inside the leaf. But the lovely thing about this wire is it's so soft that it's easy to move and manipulate once it's inside. So curve the end round so it's a circle shape on the inside until the point where the top of the stem reaches the, reaches the body. And then all you do is position that in and around the wire that you had on the shoulder. and sew those stitches all the way around so it's firmly attached to the body. So that's one in position. Now for the other one. Now with the smaller, shorter one, I'm not actually going to um, wire this one. So this one will just sit flat and loose, um, which is how your leaves would appear if you don't add the wire into them. So with this shorter one, I'm just going to sew that onto the top of here. I'm just going to tuck in any ends. The very satisfying thing about this pattern is you don't have any ends when you create these leaves. So I'm going to just bring this right up, decide whether I'd like it to present a bit more on the front or the back. I think I'm going to go slightly to the back so that you see that underneath, the hint of the underneath magenta. And then I'm just going to sew on to the arm that's already there. Like that. Then do exactly the same thing on the other side. But this time I'm going to use a large leaf with a medium stem. Then it comes to doing our head ones in exactly the same technique. So I'm just going to snip off all my ends for once as I go along so it stays nice and tidy. I'm going to sew that one back in that just popped out when we put the wires through. Okay. 
And here you've got lots of different length sleeves and it really is going to be a decision, um, your decision really, design-wise on where you want to put them. But I would say, if you've, like me, gone for three large and two small, spread your larges out and then put your smaller ones on top. So start by putting your largest ones on first. So exactly the same technique that we just did. In, put a curve on or you can always snip them off if you want to if you don't want to add a curve onto the end of them you could just snip the wire length off And when you get to this kind of second layer of leaves, it is okay to sew it onto the tops of the stems of the other leaves. That's not a problem. You don't necessarily have to go right the way down to the bottom of the head. It will build almost a clump of the stems of the leaves coming off the top. Do keep looking back at your plant. So I can see that that small one's come to the top there. I'm actually going to position this last one over here. So I've got one going in this direction as well. Now you see how if your wire comes out like that, you just need to work on pushing that back in from the hole it came so you don't end up with a little bit of the wire and you should be able to just tuck that back in there you go like that So with that, all of your leaves are in position on your plant and you can um, then manipulate them to wherever you want them to be. They can do exactly what this plant does is it comes up at night as the leaves fold up and then curve them down in the day. So it's lovely to be able to position it. And the last finishing touch really is to add the eyes, which obviously is personal preference. I'm just going to show you how I would do that here if you were deciding to add those eyes on. Come back to aligning with your centralizer because that will mean that we're nearly ready to snip that off. It's the last touch really to put the eyes on. And all I would do would be to come up three or four rounds of stitches, dependent upon the size of the eyes that you'd like to add. Sew that into place and then you just need a length of black to go through the centres for the pupils. If you get the odd bit of wayward wire that really doesn't want to behave, you can just snip that end off and then tuck that back inside if it was a tad long on one of those leaves. And with that, your Maranta is absolutely complete. Snip off all those ends. Find yourself a lovely pot or a vase to position it in or just sit it hanging off the edge of your shelf. And your houseplant that you can absolutely never kill is complete.